Uh, even to the, the average movie goer, you know, they hear that, you know, you know, the uh, Batman. You know, what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to do Hans Zimmer's, you know, yeah. wah, wah. okay, right, okay, right, 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 right. Well, if they hear that, they're instantly in their minds, it's going to be triggered. Oh, that's, that's the question. So this must be the same Batman. Okay. Because realistically in this movie, they're trying to put as much space as they can between Nolan's trilogy and Batfleck. Okay. You know Bat what I mean? Flag. Okay. So, Love that. so that's why they have to come out with like a, a totally new Batman. It, it would almost be like watching Batman Begins and hearing Burton's score. I I want to I want to hear the, the Danny Elfman score. You want to bring it? back Danny Elfman? Bring it back? Yeah, absolutely. Bring it back. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is following the nerd. You can tweet us at nerd following. You can get us on Facebook at facebook dot com forward slash following the nerd you can email us um, at following the nerd at gmail dot com um, and as I say our text machine is not working tonight so please don't text us well we don't think it's working the note's a little obscure isn't it this just, text just machine is not note. working yeah, I bet you if we just switched on the screen there'd be like a million texts sitting there yeah, just a load of people. Why haven't you replied to me? Why yeah, haven't no. you replied to me yet? Yeah, no, there's no, it's it's no, there's not much happening there. In fairness, what are you doing? I was looking for a button. I thought that we to turn on an extra screen. It, it is. Oh, Ruth, what are you doing? It is turned on. It's all good, but there's nothing there. Nobody's okay. texting us. The machine's no. broke. I think that machine's broke. I do think we're not getting texts. I think we've got too many texts. texts. And it's just mainly, down. mainly to complain about me. <laughs> it's, it's just melting down the machine. Okay, right. So we will be back after this. Hi, I'm Keely Horse from Ashes to Ashes, and you are following the nerd. I wonder, will they ever make an Indiana Jones 5? I wrote a script for a new Indiana Jones movie. It's called Indiana Jones and the Impossible Task, where Harrison Ford tries to run upstairs. Following the nerd. As sharp as a whip crack. Hello, I am Russell Toby, and I am following the nerd. I see the very moon rising. I see trouble on the way. Threw up a banjo. Okay, we're back. Um, right, okay, we, we have been we've been getting messages on, on our Facebook and Twitter saying that the streaming wasn't working for the first part of the show tonight, so we do apologise for that. I know, but it'll go out as a podcast. It'll go out as a podcast early next week. But you know what? You're with us. You can hear us now. Let us know if you can hear us now. Just I can hear you. It's because I'm here right here. <laughs> That's 50 minutes of pure Saxon gold Yes, that people have been I'll get it on the podcast. left out right. on for a full week, though. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, sure moving survive. on. Yeah, um, I haven't missed much else last night. Michael Bay, Michael Bay has had a rough time of it, hasn't he? Well, when doesn't he? Well, that's true. Um, the director of the awesome Transformers movies. Transformers. Transformers. <laughs> um, and, uh, of course, Bad Boys and all that other good stuff. Yeah, and Pain and Gain, of course, one of the best movies of the year. <laughs> Not. He said sarcastically. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's had a, tell us about this sex. Because I put the story up earlier on that apparently he'd been attacked by a couple of brothers who, and it was talking about blackmail and all these kind of things. Yeah. But apparently Bay himself has come out now and he's he's made a statement. Yes, no, what happened was Bay heard all this uh, nonsense that had been reported and just came out and made a full statement. Uh, and what he said is that basically some maniac stumbled onto the set of Age of Extinction uh, with an air conditioner of all things, a little portable air conditioner, started swinging for the cast, started swinging for Michael Bay. Michael Bay ducked, pardon me, uh, grabbed the air conditioner off him, and uh, then uh, security came along and arrested him and his two other friends. Now, the fella who was swinging about the air conditioner apparently was on some type of narcotics, uh, which has to be uh, confirmed. But, yeah, that's essentially the story. So there was no malice. There was no other madness. It was literally some lunatic stumbled onto the set and decided to have a go at everybody else. But nobody was harmed. Everything's okay. And uh, shooting's continuing in Hong Kong at the moment, I believe. So that's that's the story. Okay. The story is that it's not a story. Okay, so basically he's all right. Yeah, he's fine. Because yeah, I know cool. a lot of people don't like his movies and a lot of people don't like his Transformers, but we really don't want yeah, well, to be beaten to death with Yeah, that with doesn't air warrant physical violence, you know? Yeah. You know. I mean, like, I'd hate to, like, make a bad YouTube video or something and somebody's something out for my blood, even though they all say their mm -hmm. comments yes. underneath. But, 
you know, at like Saxon, yeah, you suck. Yeah, <laughs> Saxon made your fort son, right? Your fort son. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit much, Ruth. Certainly, surely. I mean, you know, like, you don't like the film. Leave the guy alone. Her name's yeah. Ruth, not yeah. Shirley. Hey. Hey. Shirley. Hey. 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 It's classic serious. for a reason. It's classic for a reason. Yeah, I had to wipe the dust off it there before I used it. <laughs> right. And anyway. the joke yeah. as well. I mean, there's plenty of films that people don't like. You don't just go beating people about it, you know? Yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah, it's yeah. A bit much. A bit OTT. I didn't like this movie. The director now must surely die. Yes. I, I shall take a bombs. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit much. Okay. So, but yeah, so uh, that, 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 that tickled my fancy. Star Trek. Well, Star Trek. Star Trek. It's... Are you a Star Trek fan? I am of the J.J. J. Abrams okay. uh, movies. I uh, I partake in watching them, but anything else, I'm not really too much of a fan. Yeah, Ruth, Star Trek? Much the same. Right, like the J.J. J. Abrams movies, yeah. up until that stage, didn't really... No, I mean, I'd have watched it if it was on the TV, but it wouldn't have gone out of my way to watch it or anything. Yeah, it's one of those shows you always catch at like 3 in the morning, isn't it? You know, it's Family yeah. Guy or Star Trek. Star That's Trek, kinda, yeah. yeah. you got yep. that at like 3 in the morning. Um, but apparently Robert O'Orkey has been talking Orsi. to... Roberto Orsi. Don't be so Orsi, all right? Um, who Here, is I'm as Orsi as I get. As of course, behind one of the men behind the new uh, Star Trek reboot, the J.J. Abrams reboot, yes. has been talking to Sky News, um, and he said that the, the reporter has tweeted that Bob Orsi just told me that they've had a meeting with CBS to revive Star Trek on TV, which has made me very excited. Surely Star Trek belongs back on on the te- television. No, my name's Saxon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you keep setting it up. It's going to be know. a long night. Well. Usually Keep moving is. on, please. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, what was the question? Star Trek. It belongs at home on the TV, right? Yes, it does. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, would you watch a Star Trek TV series? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the new cast and the new creators behind it? <laughs> nah. Look, I might give it a go, like, but I'm not sure that I'd be convinced. Right. I, I, I really just don't think they would be able to do it with the uh, the actual cast from the movies. Well, I think they're they're maybe talking about the same universe, but a different ship, or you know, uh, I oh, think that's the more point? what they're thinking. Why bother with that? Because they don't think they're going to get Chris Pine and Zach Quinto and all those Not guys a on a TV show. And again, with a TV series, you know, the budget's going to be less for every episode. So, mm-hmm. you know, the effects aren't going to be as good and, you know, you won't have J.J. Abrams directing it. You won't have as many lens flares. What's that point? A lot to compete with. What? It's a lot to compete with when it's been on the film now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When it's been on the what? When on the big screen. On the big screen now. Oh, yeah. right, okay. It's a lot to compete with. It is, yes. Going back to TV. Yeah. Is this what Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is suffering from? I think so, yeah. Yeah? I think it's just because it's it's something that's been set up so much that it hasn't been paid off at all. Mm, okay. I can see that. Yeah, I, I, that, that's, yeah. yeah, that's literally all I have to say on that. Okay, well, <laughs> all right. Uh, but I do get the feeling, I, I, I do feel that we're going to get Star Trek back on the, on the small screen again. I yeah, do we, think we that's going to be, happen. Because it's at its most popular than it's ever been in, in such a long time. There's, there's bound to be a TV series at some point. Yeah, which is curious because most of the fans aren't digging it. It's, what, it's the, the popular the with TV the... TV series? No, they, they aren't really getting into the whole new J.J. Abrams just track no, no well they all wouldn't because that's the thing yeah because yeah. it's so different yeah yeah which is what i was gonna say and then we said it so what, why what's the point of me saying it you so know? fans fear change is yeah. this yeah yeah it's it's like garth you know from wayne's world we fear change <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah okay i i think that's true i think i think that's the part big part that's why it's getting new audience because they don't dig on the old 60s vibe of Star Trek, but they like, they're liking this new one. Yeah. Whereas the old fans are like, I want the cardboard sets and well, I want the dodgy aliens. And- yeah, it's, it's exactly the same for when Doctor Who came back. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I mean, even our own big Phil refuses to even acknowledge the existence of the revived series. I know. Bless him. Bless his little cotton socks. <laughs> poor Big Phil. Poor Big Phil. <laughs> right, but anyway, um, he doesn't know what he's missing. Uh, we're going to be talking... Yes, Big Phil, is, of course, as we said, has the interview with Dave Price later on. We'll be playing that on the show. Um, right, okay. Now, big week. We'll see what we'll do. You know what we'll do? We'll actually... We'll take a break and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, the Monday movie show because I want to talk to... 
uh, Stuart. Stuart, if you're listening, I hope you know who Ben Wheatley is. I hope you've seen Kill List and Field in England um, because we're going to be talking a wee bit about him. Um, and then we've got, we're going to be talking to Al, the ball gamer dude, about his next 10 saddest moments in TV history. Uh, plus the fact we have a lot of Star Wars news, which I want to get through as well, and the uh, Dave Price interview uh, with Big Phil. This is following the nerd. I'm Mark. I'm Saxon. I'm Rice. Oh, um, well, God, be a bit more enthusiastic about I'm it, Ruth. Hey. I'm Ruth. No, you're not your no, you're Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm the third wheel here, let's be honest. <laughs> nice. In a nice way. Nice, We're, yeah. In the tricycle that is following the nerd. You're the front wheel. Well, you're not really. Mark's the front wheel. <laughs> okay, while I'm, Saxon, I'm, while I'm Saxon wheel. keeps Dig digging... This is Jessica Nicole, and I play Astrid Farnsworth on Fringe, and I am following the nerd. Hi, my name is Walter Koenig, and I'm following the nerd. I'm Terry Malloy. I play Davros, and I am following the nerd. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to the Following the Nerd show. Now we're 30% more nerd. Although you can't actually tell that, can you? Unless you have some kind of nerd measuring device, which would just be very weird. Hey, how are you doing, guys? My name's Peter Mullen, and for some unknown reason, I'm in Belfast. Full in the nerd. Throwing badgers at horses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, right. It's got to that time of the week where we talk to the Monday movie show Stuart Miller to see what's been happening in the UK box office. Would you like to leave a video message? No, Stuart. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. I, hello, are you there? Um, yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. Sorry, I think we're, we're having Skypes being playing for, at, at silly buggers. Um, how's things? How are you? I have man flu. Well, it manifested it into nan flu, then back into man flu, now phlegm flu. Oh, lovely. Wow. Yeah. Descriptive. I like it. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, before we before we go into the Monday to, to the whole the, the the UK top ten, um, let's talk a wee bit because we knew if anyone would know who Ben Wheatley. Ben Wheatley, of course, is a is a director who has been confirmed as being the man behind the first two episodes of the next series uh, of Doctor Who. Basically, he's going to be the man that's going to truly introduce the world to Peter Capaldi. Do you know who Ben Wheatley is, uh, Stuart? I do indeed. Okay, I <laughs> please share it with us. <laughs> Yeah, um, he made his directorial debut with a film called Down Terrace, which was a small sort of like urban horror film, the the kind of film that it's about like hoodies attacking people. And then I think he broke into the, the forefront with Kill List because Kill List is such a, well, in the last 15, 20 minutes, it's such a weird film, even though the, the first part of the movie is very sort of like typical London gangster kind of thing, that, the kind of stuff that the British film industry has been churning out over the last few years. Okay. And then um, he made, I think, one of my favourite films of the last few years, uh, which is Sightseers. That movie is dark. It really is a dark film. It's a comedy, but it has it's about a couple who are obsessed with killing people. But it, it is funny, but it's a really dark comedy. And then he did a field in England, which nobody got. Nobody understood at all what was going on in that movie. It was uh, released simultaneously on the cinema, on video on demand, on Blu-ray and DVD, on, and on film four as well. But it's it's an interest. It was an interesting concept which I actually got as well. So I think he's perfect choice for directing a couple of episodes of Doctor Who. Okay, now he said himself, um, he says, I'm very excited and honoured to be asked to direct the first two episodes of the new series of Doctor Who. I've been a fan since childhood. Tom Baker is my doctor, in case you're asking. Uh, I've been watching the current run of Doctor Who with my son and have discovered it all over again. The work that has been done is amazing. I'm really looking forward to working with Peter Capaldi and finding out where Stephen Moffat is planning on taking the new Doctor. So, um, Stuart, uh, he's a good choice. You think this is a good choice for Doctor Who? Yeah, it, it, it gives Doctor Who much more of an adult feel to to it because I know a Doctor Who has to tread that line between being a kids program and an adult program it has to try and find that 
that perfect line for that. Uh, Peter, Cap um, Peter Capaldi, especially for an actor, and Ben Willey is a director. I think that's pushing it more into the adult territory, so it'll be interesting to see what he does for the first few episodes because I don't think Ben Wheatley's mind is seen, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Now, just before we, we get into the whole movie thing, Saxon, I meant to ask you this. Uh, did you see during the week Stephen Moffat's comments um, about Doctor Who? Because people have started asking about the whole regeneration thing where yeah. he's only got one regeneration left now that mm. Peter Capaldi... Now, Stephen Moffat's... 